What's up, everybody? It's Joe Miller from the Dirty Bear Field, and this is vlog episode four. Got a, I th this is my second one this week. I'm, I'm on it. Uh, I only plan for one a week, but there's just some things to say. Right now, I'm in my car, and I am working out the bugs, which aren't many at all, actually. I'm just trying to understand and take some time to learn about how this diesel heater is working. I'm not sure if you can see... Yeah, there you go. Can't see, or you can see my booster pack and a little bit of the diesel heater there. I'm at a uh, a park, local park, local lake that we have here. And I've just been working out of my car today, um, making calls and doing some stuff online. I have the good fortune of having a job where it's mobile and I can really do it from anywhere. But I think I'm getting like the weirdest looks from people as they drive in and out of the park. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure they're all worried that I'm killing myself because it's just a vehicle with uh, some ducting going back into the car. <laughs> uh, no one has come and talked to me. I think they figured out once they can actually see the heater down there. And uh, But it's pretty funny. I'm, I'm getting a lot of, a lot of weird looks. Had a bylaw officer slow down real uh, quite a bit to... Kind of make sure I was okay and uh, give him a thumbs up. He took off, but this is my setup. I'm trying to figure figure it out. I need to burn through this diesel uh, also because there's a few modifications I want to make um, to the frame of the diesel heater. But this is my idea. I want to keep the diesel heater uh, portable so that I can do this kind of stuff with it. And I actually think that I'm going to pay off this diesel heater, because when I do go work, right now it's four degrees Celsius, which is, um, I did the conversion, it was 39.2, I think, Fahrenheit. Um, but a I work out of my car a lot, and I end up just starting my car and running it. And this is an old Suburban, uh, the six liter. So I, I bet in gas savings from me using this diesel heater, I will actually pay um, in savings of not having to start my start my car and, and keep myself warm. Anyways, this is uh, this is what the setup looks like. I have it running off the booster pack, and then I just bought some cheap um, ducting from Home Depot. And then I'm not sure if you can see on the end of it, but it comes with a vent and uh, like a vent uh, plastic vent, three inch plastic vent comes with the kit, and I've just hose clamp that on so that's a super cheap solution and there's no problem with heat and then i have a paw patrol blanket custom paw patrol blanket to keep the heat in i should actually had this all stuffed in here like that um it's been oh that is so awesome i'm trying to figure out how long i can run it off this booster pack and i think i'm gonna run out of time um I'm at almost an hour and uh, just gonna fix the fix the Paw Patrol blanket. Um, I'm at about an hour of runtime on it on this booster pack and like that's awesome. Uh, I still have two bars. Who knows how how much uh, how much actual battery power I have left in it but I am gonna run out of time because my day is done here and I gotta leave but the goal is to see how long the battery pack the booster pack will run it for and I'm on heat level three and it is a nice heat like it is a nice it's just like <clears throat> it's good heat I was originally thinking I started thinking oh well, you know this is too big and uh I think maybe we'll just go with electric blankets um, for our trip. But after playing with this, this is such a luxury to have. Like even if we just have a, a shelter uh, to be able to run this in and just like with three kids, some, some of the places we're planning on going are quite cold and we're only going for like, you know, one day at each of these spots. But it's just really really nice uh but i'm trying to keep it portable so my idea is i'm going to um just use some cardboard to trace out a template for this car 
for the RAV that we're actually going in and also my Toyota truck. And I'm just going to make a, a template out of cardboard and then transfer it onto like half inch plywood and cut that out. So there's, you essentially just have this, like, uh, this adapter that goes in here. You can roll down the window and then you just pinch it in and then into that piece of wood will be hard mounted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use three inch, um, RV sewer drain pipe. So it's got like a swivel end on it and it's got these lugs. So I'm going to hard mount the lugs onto this adapter plate. Um, and then I'll have like three different adapter plates that I can just pull that lug off of and put into whatever vehicle I'm going to use it on. But then my ducting can mount to the other end of that um, sewer. I think it's called an RV bayonet is what I found online. I had no idea what it was called. But then that goes on and twists and seals. And then that way I'll have that a twist and seal on one end and the twist and seal on the, um, on the actual unit. And then I can pull the duct off and then store that somewhere separate and not keep everything all hose clamped together and have it be super bulky. Cause I want it to be, uh, portable so I can use it in all of my different vehicles. Um, because I think this unit is going to be used quite a bit. What I am missing too is my 100 amp hour battery. Um, I'm just slowly waiting uh, to get some money to do that because that's a big cost. Uh, but it is one of the kind of main things I need so I can start uh, seeing how long things actually last off that battery. Um, I'm excited to set up my bar fridge that I have. Uh, to see how long that runs, um, which I think I'll probably end up doing with an inverter and this booster pack that I have because um, this seems to be pretty decent. And I can get an idea, if I have an idea of how long I can run things off the booster pack, that's also good because I may, you know, in a jam emergency or, you know, on short trips, just bring a booster pack, toss it in the car. Um, and uh, or toss it in my truck and and go eventually i plan on kind of making my own when i do get that battery i'm gonna make it like uh, i'm gonna make it a portable power station so it'll have some handles on it i'll probably hard mount the inverter uh right onto the battery so i have just a little kind of uh, 100 amp hour uh, portable station and i'll mount up some uh cigarette lighter socket plugs on it and just make a little compact unit that's a quarter of the price and double the capacity of something like an EcoFlow uh, Delta or the Jackerty things because when you do the math on that it doesn't really add up so I will make a homemade brew version of that anyways I just wanted to check in uh, I was doing this and I was excited about it, so I wanted to document it and share it. And uh, yeah, I'm I am gonna run out of time because I got to go. But that's super cool. I know that I can run uh, this diesel heater for an hour easy um, on heat level setting three, and uh, I can run it off that booster pack, which is pretty cool. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.